Well, football season starts each August under the sweltering heat of the sun, not under those Friday night lights. And that's why trainers across the country are calling for changes to how your kids practice. Cameron Abundus joins us now to explain the safety measures. Cameron? Crystal, the National Athletic Trainers Association unveiled some recommendations today that call for the limited use of traditional two-a-day practices. Under the guidelines, teams are encouraged not to practice twice a day during the first week of practices. Then during the following weeks, teams would alternate between two-a-days and single-day schedules. But some here in the basin just don't think it makes players any safer. There's no glamour here. Instead of flashy Friday night lights, the sun is beating down as players practice twice a day to get ready for the season. They need to be prepared uh, right before they get into contact, so uh, it's, it's truly, truly part of the football game. It's a part of the game some say is just too dangerous. Since 1995, 39 football players across the U.S. and in all levels of play have died from heat-related causes, according to the National Center for Catastrophic Injury Research. Today, athletic trainers from around the country called on coaches to modify practice schedules to prevent these types of deaths. Dangers apply to everything, not just football. It's, it's all about preparing, you know. You have to prepare your body. You have to watch what you eat. You have to have plenty of fluids. Parents like Rodolfo Tarin think two-a-days actually help condition the players and prevent injuries. Some coaches don't work the kids hard, and I think that's where most injuries occur. They do have trainers on site. That makes a big difference. They used to not have a lot of that stuff. Permian head coach Gary Gain says after practice starts, they only have 13 days to prep for the first game. That's going to be in the heat, you know, and it's going to be contact. They're going to be wearing the uniform and the helmet. During the first four days of practice, players are already not allowed to wear pads. But the National Athletic Trainers Association wants teams to do away with two-a-days altogether for the first week and rotate single and double days thereafter. We, we do our very best to take care of these guys and make sure that we don't have any heat illnesses during, during those hot days. I don't think we challenge the kids enough in, in sports or academics either one. And I think three a days would be better. Other coaches from around West Texas tell News West 9 they look to the University Interscholastic League for direction. It keeps the playing field even, and the UIL isn't calling for these changes. During practice, we have water available to those guys. You know, whenever they get thirsty, they can go and get water. One, two, three, four, In Odessa, Cameron Abundus, News West 9. So the big question, how is this going to affect our local teams? Johnny Boyne joins us with his thoughts on how this will go over here in West Texas. Johnny? Well, first of all, I don't think they're going to go to a three-week format, first of all. That's insane. However, I do think precautions will be raised. I think the uh, hydration and uh, how long they work these guys, it's, it'll all be, you know, more closely looked at, but here in West Texas, two a days will stay. I think that it is something very important to the boys before the season, and I don't think it's going to be changed. Do you think this is likely to be picked up by West Texas coaches? I don't want to put words in these guys' mouth. I do know them, and what I do know about these guys is their players are number one physically and mentally. They are going to take care of these kids, and there's a reason why we haven't had problems like this here in West Texas because of the coaches taking such good care of their kids. All right, thanks, Johnny. Well, we want to know what you think. Should coaches do away with two-a-day practices for safety reasons? Log on to NewsWest9.com to cast your vote tomorrow night. We'll report those results.